Okay, it's our creator dude here. And today I'm going to do an analysis of the Splatoon 3 trailer. Well, I never thought I'd be saying that. But, without further ado, let's get into the video. As you can see at the bottom, it says not actual gameplay footage, which means they used an editing software to make what they hope the final product will be. They're probably doing test gameplay so they can't produce a actual match or trailer with gameplay included. And they want to include what they hope for the end product to be. But they might also just want an enhanced quality of what's already in the game. Do you hear that? That's an eagle screech. The only birds we have in Splatoon today are these seagulls or something. I just thought I'd point this out since nobody has really covered it. As you can see, it doesn't say select gender or select character, but it says select style. This means that you either have inkling or octoling hair and eyes match just male or female proportions. I'm not going to assume the eyes or anything about them, but we have multiple colors uh, in presets and just more colors overall to make your eyes. Here we can see that there are many inkling hairstyles, but we can't see any octoling hairstyles in the image shown. I'll talk about this guy in the, my next video, but I'm gonna see a video covering him. Subscribe to my channel. Okay, what are these weapons? We got some ink bow type thing. I'm assuming this might be somewhat similar to a splat charger. Where if you hold it back more, it's more powerful, but you can shoot it really quickly. We got this new type of weapon. It kind of reminds me of a stingray, but it might function more like a splatter shot pro of sorts. We got a uh, weird large roller. Uh, I don't really know what else to say about it. It's just a large roller. And we got a huge blaster. Although this could just be a more of like a cartoon like render of a normal blaster. A Viking helmet. 
Okay, so we got some sort of sloshing machine or something. We got like a small splatter shot, a uh, splatling with three barrels, and some sort of a grenade launcher. Would it launch like burst bombs or something? What was that jump you just did? Hey, a crab? Twenty twenty two is good, especially considering if we go back they may have added a boatload of maps to the game. And if they didn't add maps, this game has way more cool stuff than Splatoon two, especially when you compare it to how Splatoon two released compared to Splatoon one, to how this game is gonna release to Splatoon two. <laughs> 